I am Osman Nakulma, student at the Manga Municipality High School. I am in my final year. I say it with pride because for many people who have known me for a long time, that is hardly believable. When I was two, I had an ear disease called otitis. My parents tried to treat me with traditional medicine without success before turning to modern medicine. It was in 2012 when I had to pass the certificate of primary studies that I began to have difficulty hearing. I had to scream if I did not hear anything. I failed my exam that year, but I did not give up. The following year, I succeeded but with great difficulty. Once in high school, the problem became more serious. At school, I was always isolated because I did not hear well. It was hard. Things started to change in 2016 when I was screened and enrolled in the community-based rehabilitation program in the Healthy Ear and Right to Communication section supported by CBM Burkina. A specialist examined me and I received a hearing aid in 2017. This little device has changed my life. I hear a lot better and I am more fulfilled. I do not feel left out anymore. I found my circle of friends and my results became better. Next year, I will take the baccalaureate exam. I hope to be admitted and to be able to enroll in university. I am not an isolated case. I heard about Siju Dipama in the village of Nubere. He is 15 years old and has become death mute as a result of meningitis. Seju was also obliged to isolate himself. But the hard part for him was that his parents had lost hope until he came across an agent of RBC four years ago. The latter sensitized Seju's parents so that they understand that deafness should not prevent their child from realizing himself and living fulfilled. This is how they agreed to enroll Seju in a machine learning workshop. The workshop coordinator is himself a hard of hearing person. Seju is fulfilled since joining the workshop. There is also Mohamed Gombaore who lives in Iago. Mohamed became deaf as a result of an injection at the age of two years. He also has difficulty walking. He had the chance to go to the school of the deaf in Bobo Giolasso, but due to the lack of financial means, he stopped the classes at the second year of primary school. Mohamed met CBM in 2017, which enables him today to learn the trade of his choice, namely sewing. We are proof that anything is possible. I am optimistic for my future, those of Sidhu and Mohammed, and all the people living with a hearing handicap.